Hello and welcome, it's Tana from Winnie and Mini Photography and you have purchased an online video and you are going to love this because today we're going to be editing little 11 pound Byron here. He is super sweet, he was the chubbiest little man um, but he slept so perfectly. But um, So today I'm going to show you how I edit this full image from start to finish and also uh, in particular editing the red and purple out of his skin so that he looks um, a little bit more balanced out with that. Um, so these are the exact hand edits that I do when I edit all my images so uh, enjoy. Alright so firstly what we're going to do is create a new layer so um, we go command J on a Mac and then we are going to go up to the hue saturation layer and then up here you'll notice there is a finger pointing finger hand symbol and it's got two arrows on it you just want to click that and then that will give you this little eyedropper tool now from here all you have to do is select a part of his skin that is particularly uh, red so I'm going to just select this little red dot under his eye there now once you've done that you can also go to the plus dropper tool here and then select a couple of other spots around his face as well that are quite red. Now from there you're going to grab the hue slider up here and take it all the way to 180 plus 180 and then you'll see he turns into this uh, purpley turquoise looking avatar baby. Um, so from there, what you want to do is grab this right hand little uh, slider, I guess you could call it, and bring it in. And you'll see as you slightly bring it in more and more, it removes that color off him. So what it's actually doing is going to be only applying our adjustment to these layers, to this um, part of the skin that is that crazy blue color. So when we bring it in, we bring it in. If you take it too far, it goes all the way off. You'll see it's only on his lips where they're really red or his toes. So if you come up even a little bit more, bring it straight back out, you'll see his face goes, you know, that nice, uh, it's got that nice coverage over his face. So up here again, we come back up to the top slider and just bring that back down to zero. So from here, now you can just slightly creep it up. And you'll see that uh, the adjustment is only going to be applied to these areas where you have selected. So if we bring it up to about plus 10, I'm going to say, thereabouts, um, that looks pretty good to me. What we can do is also just very slightly bring the saturation up like point uh, plus 2 and maybe just fractionally on the lightness as well, just very slightly. So now that that's been applied there, what we're going to do is just remove it off of his uh, feet and his hands and his lips. So what you want to do is, because that's a white layer there, you want to use a black soft brush uh, at 100% to just remove it off his lips, his hands, because babies do have red hands, and his feet also, just like that. If you had a little girl and you wanted a little bit more rosy cheek to her, you could remove it also off the cheeks. But I think for little boys, it sort of suits them a bit more when they're not so red, uh, pink cheeked. So that is before and after that one adjustment. It's such a dramatic change, but he looks so much more balanced out and not so purple in the face. All right, so I'm going to flatten that. And I usually flatten all my, um, all my layers as I go because I'm quite happy with that adjustment and it's time to move on. Alright, so now I can still see that he's got that little bit of a red spot under his eye. If I zoom in close for you, you can still see that spot there under his eye. I'm going to, just to show you once more, I'm going to go straight back up to that hue saturation layer, back to that pointy finger tool, select that bit of his skin, and I'm just going to lighten that a little bit, just fractionally. Let's see. And then if I go Command I, that removes that, and I can now just paint that straight back on to only that spot that I want to lighten. So I haven't actually had to do any uh, cloning or anything. It's retained that texture in his face. It's simply just removed that red out of that little spot. So I'm going to flatten that now. 
And while I'm zoomed in here like this, I can see he's got a few little bits of flaky skin. So I'm just going to quickly spot remove those little pieces of his face. And this is the spot healing brush tool. You can also do this with the healing brush tool if you like. That just means that you have to, uh, when you're selecting part of the skin, you have to select from a spot very close by and then you can just um, sort of brush that in over the blemishes, which is also another way I like to do things if they're uh, like a larger area of skin that needs to be touched up. But if your spot healing brush uh, if you you know if you have a piece of skin that's going over a lip, then you'll need to do spot healing brush because you kind of need the program to help you. Now that's just a little bit of milk on his lip. I had to keep looking at that, thinking was it a shine or was it milk? But I've, I've come up with the conclusion that was a little bit of milk on his lip, so I took that off as well. Um, all right, so I'm pretty sure he looks good. Uh, nose pimples on newborns I tend to leave because I feel like they are supposed to be there when he's this age. And, um, you know, it, it wouldn't wash off in the bath and um, that's him today. So they're going to stay. Now his uh, feet at the back there are looking quite purple still. So for that, what I like to do usually, because they don't have much red in them and I feel like that hue saturation adjustment doesn't work as well when you do it with real purple, what I like to do is come up to the color balance uh, tool up here and come to the cyan and red slider and just move it over to red a little bit more. And that just brings a little bit more color and life into the feet, but you don't want to go too far and make his feet red. You just want to sort of take out the cyan and add a bit more of the red. You can also slide the yellow, the uh, yellow to blue slider just over to the left a little bit and create a little bit more yellow into that. So you can see that's applied that adjustment to the whole image. But I don't want to do that. I only want it to his feet. So I'm going to hit Command I, which inverts that adjustment. And then with the white brush tool, I can now just paint that onto only his feet there. So you can see that's brought some color and life back into his feet. And I find that works good because you can see the exact um, change that it's making with just playing with the sliders to suit this baby's particular skin skin tone. I'm going to flatten that now. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, what I'd like to do now to add that extra pop to my images, and um, this might not be for everyone, if you like that more softer kind of look, um, just noticed there was a tiny bit of fluff on his head there. There we go, that's better. Um, yes, yeah, so with my images, I like to give it that little bit of a pop. So what I do is go Command J and um, the layer mode up here, which is usually default set to normal, I like to change that to soft light and that makes it go this quite orange crazy color. But when you bring it back down to zero and just slightly creep it up, uh, usually around 30% opacity, works really well for my particular images and that you can see before and after it just really adds life and dimension to your baby. Um, so I'm going to flatten that now and I think it's pretty good and I might just give his eyes a little bit more contrast with uh, burning him in a bit. So what I do for that is go command J and if you have a little baby girl that has really long eyelashes, this works really beautifully well to make those pop as well. So with the new layer, you want to change that to luminosity and then come over to your burn tool. And then when you zoom right in, you can paint that on just to create that shadow under his eye like this. And then a little bit crazy. Let me just let me just redo that one again. That's better. Okay. So you can see it's still a little bit, little bit, little bit too much because obviously he's not going to be wearing that much eyeliner today. <laughs> but we're going to bring that down to zero and just slightly. So you can just fifty percent, and it's just created that little bit of dimension into his eyes, especially because he has that under eye crease um, there. So you, you definitely want to be able to see that that's his eye and not be mistaken for a crease. I think that just makes his little face stand out a little bit better. I mean, his eye creases. So very nice. Okay, so I think I'm just going to lighten the little 
um, his right hand side of his face here a little bit. So with the curves layer, I'm just going to slightly lift up those mid tones and command I will invert it and then I can just paint it on to that side of his face. And that's just enough before and after just to lift it a little bit. I'm going to flatten that down. Now with my images I also like to add some black background blur onto my fabrics like this and you can do this with any kind of image as well. Over here is the gradient tool and then when you've selected that if you go on a new layer so command J will create your new fresh layer and you just select with the option or the alt key on your Mac and any part of the image that you want to select that color. So if I go sort of that color green, when I click, uh, you know, put my um, pen down and drag it in, it creates this beautiful gradient of that color. Just make sure you've selected this um, particular mode of gradient because you want it to be like a big sort of soft circle so that it's just bringing that color into the image and blurring out those edges a little bit more. And then I just like to just put that around all the edges for blanket shots like this. You don't have to go too crazy, um, just like that. Okay, so now I like to turn that into a mask. So that is a white layer mask and I'm going to paint it on with a big black brush or paint it off rather. So I'm taking this all off his body and off his skin. And then if I click the, um, I don't even know what that's called, that button, under delete is the, it's like a line and then like a backslash kind of button. I can't remember what that's called. But you can see exactly where um, you've applied that. So if I click that on and off, you can see how soft it is. I'm just going to back it off a little bit and bring the opacity down just so it's very soft. 50% is way enough. Um, okay, while we're here, I'll show you quickly how I like to sharpen. Um, all right, so we go Command J, a new layer, and then you go up to uh, Filter in your menu section, and then come down to Sharpen and Unsharpen Mask. And then my sharpen mask is around 77%, radius 4.9, zero threshold. And you can see it's quite a strong sharpen. Well, it's very strong. And then I go OK. And then turn it into a mask and invert it with Command I. And then when I zoom in, I can just paint it with a white fluffy brush just onto his eyes, like this, and his lips. You can see it's very, very dramatic and over the top. But when you bring it back down to zero, you can just creep it up to where you feel like you want it. So that's at 45% and I feel that's perfect. With these adjustments as well, what I like to do is just record them so that they are now my own actions. Um, and then when I work, I just click through my own recorded, pre-recorded actions and they're all there. It's very um, easy. So. Um, then I never have to spend time going through each step. It's just all pre-done and I paint it on. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with that image. It looks really sweet, really cute. Um, I'm going to maybe just bump up the vibrance fractionally to like plus seven. And I am happy. We are done. Thanks for watching so much and um, stay tuned for another video coming very soon. And... Um, enjoy. I hope you really loved that. He's super cute and thanks for watching. Bye.